Hello people, this is the Pilatus PC9A by R Simulations. This is an absolutely awesome aircraft, it's definitely one of my favourites. Has very high performance. Let's hop inside. Firstly, check that Batmaster is off. That the ignition and starter are both off, guards down. Landing gear handle is down. The PCL, power control lever, that that's set to off. Also, unlock the flight controls. Let's get outside. We can remove the prop retainer and the intake covers. Alright. Now, in uh, the real world, usually the aircraft at this point would be connected to a an external electrical power unit providing power to the aircraft. Now we don't have that in FlySim, so there's a few differences in the checklist. Most of it's the same, but one difference is we must start with the uh, battery on. But in the real world, you don't need to turn the battery on until the electrical power unit's disconnected once the engines have started. Alright, so yeah, Batmaster is turned on. Check your oxygen supply, turn that on. Check contents. 20 psi. Flow normal. Test mask. And set to normal. System test. Landing light. Three greens. This is the central warning system panel, the CWS. And we'll test to make sure all those captions can be lighted up. Switch the lamp on. All the captions are on. Also we've got the caution light here and the warning light. Test the AOA, angle of attack indexer. That's that duva over here. Green's too fast, red too slow, and the circle on speed. PCL on idle, check boost pumps, turn them on, those two captions are now have lighted up, check PCL movement, max back to off, reset boost pumps to arm. Flaps up, ELT, the emergency locator transmitter, set to arm, anti-ice probe set to off, Trim interrupts normal. Landing gear lights off. Inverter set to gen. Avionics Batmaster gen off. Trim check function. It's working and set to take off. Landing gear handles down three greens. Accelerometer within limits reset. Fuel contents, 1,754 pounds, that matches with the alloy gauge and both tanks are balanced. Fuel used, we've used one pound of fuel. Okay, parking brake set. We can now remove the chocks, the wheel chocks. Gen master is off. Boost pumps are um external fuel transfer pumps. If you got underwing tanks then you'll set them to on. Uh if you don't have underwing tanks like I do not, then they can be set to off. Instrument lights off, nav lights off, strobe beacon lights off. ECS, the envir environmental control system, set to off. Now let's test the controls. Poke our head it out the rear of the aircraft, like that. Rudder left, rudder right, elevator up, elevator down. Stick to the left, left aileron up, right aileron down. Stick to the right, right aileron up, left aileron down. 
full and free movements. Ready for the engine start checks. Let's close the canopy. And locked. Check propeller area. Propeller area clear. Nav light on, straight beacon light on. Fuel pumps, boost pumps on. Ignition, sorry, starter on. Check wheel pressure rise. Ignition on. NG about 12%. PCO is idle. Monitor ITT. ITT stabilized. When NG above 56%. Ignition off. Starter off. Boost pumps set to arm. Check engine oil pressure and temperature. Both in the green arcs. Propeller is unfeathered. Check Batmaster on, Genmaster on, all captions on the CWS extinguished. Check voltage, 17 volts positive charge. Avionics Bat on, Gen on, ECS set to high. NG is above minimum of 56%. Flaps check function. Take off, fully down, just check outside too, make sure they're working, yep, that looks good. Check the air brake, air brake extending, air brake retracting, that's good, good. Check flight instruments, erect and off flags away. Set uh, the altimeter to the Area Q and H, that's already been set for me. So also set radio nav aids to what you might be using on your flight. Check there's no red or amber captions on the CWS. Alright, we're ready for taxi. Parking brake is off. Let's check, make sure the brakes are working correctly. Apply a bit of throttle. Brakes seem to be working. Check nose on steering. Yep, brakes and nose wheel steering seem to be working alright. Give your instruments another check, make sure. It all is working. Okay, we'll do our final pre takeoff checklists. Canopy is closed and locked. Air brake is in. Set flaps to takeoff. Pro anti ice probes. Set to on. Trim is set for takeoff. Flight instruments are set. Engine instruments are all in the green. Volts. 37 volts. Positive charge. N2 hydraulic pressure is in the green. Fuel is okay. Tanks balanced. No red or amber captions on the CWS panel. Oxygen is on. Normal and uh, normal. We have full free movement in our controls.
lineup checks. Landing lights on clock is running and correct. Set transponder to what needs to be set on. We're doing a, we're doing a VFR flight, so 1200 is what we want. Also check that the nav flight and strobe beacon lights are on. And that is it for the pre-takeoff checklist. Ready for takeoff.